Here's the stuff you'll need to run the same setup um, that I'm running. First of all, you'll need a Torque, the Torque Pro app off of the Google Play Store. It's $4.95. That's a very well-reviewed app. Here you go. It has 33,000, over 33,000 reviews. Uh, next, you'll need a Bluetooth adapter. Um, this is what I'm using. It's a PLX Kiwi adapter. Here it is on eBay for $49, free shipping. They also have it on Amazon. It looks like around $81. Um, I think I paid 75 or 80 bucks for mine when I bought it. Um, in my last video, I did an injector buzz test on my 2001 7.3 liter. And my video was how to do it for under 15 bucks. And I used a really cheap adapter. You can use that adapter with torque, but the problem is, you know, um, when I'm going on a long trip, I leave it on for hours and hours. And it was cutting out and disconnecting. And so I ordered this one. It's never disconnected. I've never had problems with it. And also something nice about this adapter, let's see if I can zoom in is that right here there's a little switch on it and you can turn it off and on so you can leave it plugged in at all times and then just turn the switch on when you want to use it so and that's really all you need along with your cell phone um, you need an Android phone with Bluetooth to connect to it and to you know run the torque gap on. and then for the actual gauges I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S3 and then so here, here are my gauges so the gauges, the, the ones I'm actually watching, I'm watching IPR, injection pulse width, um, H, H pop, runtime, exhaust back pressure, uh, battery volt, which gear I'm in, uh, TC slip, which is torque converter slip. This, this will go all over the place kind of like that. When the torque converter locks up, it, this should be just locked and not moving. If you see this gauge moving, you know your torque converter is slipping. Uh, elevation, I live in the mountains, so I'm always curious about elevation. I live at about 6,200 feet. Um, oil temperature, transmission temperature, and then boost. And I have it set up to show minimums and maximums, so I don't always have to stare. So, you know, I can just drive down the road, get on a little bit, and I can see what my max boost is. Max boost I've ever hit in here is 20. Um, but I did, with this set of gauges, I noticed I had an issue because I was, I had it set up, I was getting on it as hard as I could. I even had my tuner on high. And, um, I, only, I was seeing 13.5, 14 PSI, so I went through all my boots and was able to find a boost leak, uh, threw another another clamp on it, and I'm back up to 20. So, I mean, there is some benefit other than just, you know, with the gauges, it's not so important where they're at, it's important to know the norms, to know where they should be at. And, and if you see them out of there, out of the norms, then you know you have an issue, especially on a long trip. You don't want to, you know, every part on this truck's expensive. You don't want to damage it. But yeah, here I'll. So I have it set up through Bluetooth uh, to go through my adapter. Get on it a little bit, drive home. I was kind of rambling on earlier, but it is important. Um, you know, if you see your transmission temperature getting really high, um, transmissions aren't cheap. So same thing with, you know, with oil temperature. You see your oil temperature getting really high? Um, pull over. You know, these things are important, especially, I guess, if you're pulling a load or you're on a long trip. I don't, honestly, I never do this around town. Uh, but I drive on some pretty long trips in this truck, and I think it's very important. So I use an extra phone that I have, and I just plug it in. This is, I'm showing you on my main phone. My other phone's smaller, but I have an old phone that doesn't even have service. I just use it through Bluetooth have this set up and I have it running at all times just to keep track you know just to keep track it's better it's better to catch something before you know before it blows up it's, it's usually cheaper to fix that way so all right let's go for a little drive throw the windows down for a soundtrack Right now, my max boost is 0.1 pound. So, we'll get on a little bit and see if we can get that up. And of course, there's like a hundred cars pulling out of here.
uh, my torque converter kicked in. I don't know if you can see on this video, but that TC slip gauge just went to zero. And I, and I want to stop on it. Now it unlocked and it moved, but it downshifted. So let me lock it up again. All right, so now I'm getting on it. It's at zero. It's not moving. You don't want that torque converter to slip at all. And you can tell just with that gauge, it'll flutter a little bit. You'll be able to tell. It's real obvious. So I, I pay attention to that. I pay attention to them all, but most importantly, oil temp and transmission temp. And since I live in Colorado, I probably stare at the elevation the most, just because I go on a lot of trips, you know, through the mountains where I get 11, 12,000. So it's just interesting, you know, to me. Right now, my oil temp's at 193. Transmission, I just drove two miles to a gas station. It's only at 121. Everything else looks normal, which is good. That's what you want. Yeah. This app actually should be pretty boring. I should look at it and be like, whoa. pretty cheap way for gauges you know it's a pretty cheap setup um, I don't normally use my main phone I usually use about a four or five year old Sony uh, it's a 2.2.3 uh, I don't remember what version of Android it is but it's a pretty old phone and I use that it's basically free I've had it for four or five years with Bluetooth doesn't even have service I have it up here you know with the USB cord plugged in just so I don't have to worry about battery on long trips and then my adapter was like 75 bucks, 80 bucks, but it's a good one. So it's a pretty cheap setup for gauges and it goes a long way, especially on a long trip. So I hope this video wasn't too boring. Here's what the gauges actually look like on my cell phone. I was hoping you'd be able to see them in the, when I was going for my drive in my truck, but <laughs> the screen was just blurry and you couldn't see anything. But this is it. And you can see there's a lowest value, a highest value, which is important on temperatures and boost and well, most of the things it's important, but it's it's real easy to set up. If this video becomes popular, people want to see it, I'll go in. I'll do a how-to video on how to do custom setups, how to do custom gauges and set everything up. I mean, you can get really, really technical set up pages and pages of gauges and flip through them all. But these are the ones that I need, or at least that I find important for me. And so I've set them up all in one screen. I don't switch screens. So this is all, this is just what I have up at all times when I'm running these gauges.